Yeah! My boy! Incredible victory, our first minor fight! Can Soldier Alfonso recover from this heavy defeat? Oh, I'm not sure about that, because we whipped this boy pretty good. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Boxing School. I'm your host, the Birdman of this Falcon. Honestly, I really enjoyed the first video a lot, then I want to record another one here today, so I will. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you are, let me know in the comments if you're leaving a thumbs up and we'll continue doing a bit more of this. What I wanted to do today was focus on hiring more fighters so we train multiple people at the same time and we have like different options when it comes to fights going forward. Make some more money that way too. So right now I have the option of finally hiring somebody else so we'll do that. But before we jump into that, Cannonball, go over here and get your HP up and let's come over to Scouting if I'm correct. And we have Scout Report ready to go. Our scout right now is picking up the top candidates available right now in the world at our current level. So here we go. We have 24, 27, and 39. I mean, now you're really old, buddy. You're really old, Lorenzo Rasco. Almost 40 at a boxing career. Eh, you know, that's almost like the George um, Foreman type of boxer right there. So I'm either thinking Swarmer or Counter Puncher. Both of you guys apparently have a two-star potential as well. I'm going to go with probably Earthquake. I would like to see how the Swarmer will kind of work out for us, so let's pick you up here. Payment for fight will be 828, and then i got to pay you 72 a week. That's fine. Let's do so. So we got two boxers now. And you should probably go home. Weightlifting you go. Boost you up. That's a good start right there. And I'm thinking we'll probably have our next minor fight. Oh, come on. We'll probably have our next minor fight with Cannonball to get 3 of 5. We have to get to 5 of 5 for the next part of our big overall quest and journey here. Let's go back to weightlifting right there, buddy. One more boost, maybe? One more boost? No, no boost. There it is. And we should also work on your stamina a little bit here so you actually get to train longer periods of time. You see, you got two boost and you weren't able to finish that because of your stamina. Go home, buddy. I have all these boxes who apparently refuse to stop smoking even though they're competitive athletes here. Um, let's go to scouting, and since we already have enough boxers, I'm going to say now you search for some sponsorship deals, get a sponsorship for a new dude over here. Next day it is. Alrighty. Let's get Cannonball ready for a fight here today. Right now we have 3,000. Um, trying to save up a little bit of cash for, I'm not really sure what, what for just yet, but we'll figure it out. You have one extra point, let's start off over here by increasing your speed. Definitely. And, go back to that. Cannonball, fit for a fight. Well... Let's get you into that fight once my boy is over here done training, so in case we get a boost, we don't miss it. Not gonna get that boost, though, huh? No. Okay, let's go up to the fight. So, Cannonball. Last fight that we had was against Snake, and we did lose. We put up a slightly valiant effort. We lasted the second round at the very least, so... At least now, I mean, the guy was like level 9 and we were level 3 at the same time, too, so... You know, my boy was fairly outclassed here, but... A couple of more of these minor fights and we should get some more levels here. Um, this is going to be a counter puncher, so he's going to wait for us to swing and get us pretty good somewhere, right? Well, he doesn't have too much HP. I think that if we land one good headshot, look at our damage of his HP. One hit KO. One hit KO punching power. Um, defend. Defend the body. I think this guy's going to probably go after the body with us more than likely. And we could take a couple of headshots. So defend the body more after the nod and attack the head. Cannonball, give me that one hit KO. Come on, Cannonball! We got him with one hit! Oh, he's back up! One more, though. One more, baby! Don't taunt him! I know you're doing really good, but don't taunt- Oh, he's taunting, too. He has no reason to be taunting. He went down after one blow. He went down with two blows, twice. Count him out, Rafi. Oh, he's back up. This guy's making- Look, he's gassed out. This guy's making a mockery of us here by getting back up. You're supposed to have non-stop- Punching power here, Cannonball. He's finally down for good. So, victory was crazy good. No surprise there. One knock, one hit, and he would go down. So, he's up to level 5 now. Very, very good. And we got ourselves one extra point here. Let's assign this. Um, You should... You over here. Go home. And you, let's get you that skill point. So, what are we going with now? More punching power. No, I, I start thinking we look for a special attack for you. We have a power punch. Unblockable heavy attack to the body, draining power and stamina. Or we got the one to the head. Deals 150 damage. 
and stuns as well. I think that might be better for us. So let's pick that one up. Um, I don't know what this is down here, but we need to get quick recovery to get that. At some point, we definitely want to invest in quick recovery, so between rounds we get some more of our stats back. It's not a bad thing to have. Plus, I'm curious as to what this unlocks. This down here seems like a very, very crucial skill for us eventually. Alright, buddy. So you got your fight. Good. Um, hit the weightlifting a little bit more. You apparently can still get a, good, a bit more HP up in there. Who turns off my radio when I'm gone? I'm not sure why they do that. You know, I'm gonna come back after a victorious fight and listen to my sweet 80s tunes. Boxing Magazine reports that the minor circuit champion Thunderbolt is looking for a new title fight challenger. Rumor is that top contender number one, Hooked, or rank number two, Guts, will get a shot for the title in the near future. Yeah, well, we're not ready for that just yet, boys. We are not. As much as I'd like it to be, we're not ready for that. So get your stamina up over here. Mm, you're a 10, 6, and yeah, we gotta get your HP up quite a bit. Because one hit and I'm afraid you're gonna go down quite quickly. Tired already? Off you go. And you're at 77 right now, too. Okay. Probably won't get that little bit of HP right there, but nope. Nope. Off home you go. We're at 3,000 as well, huh? Hmm. We'll see if we have like a sponsorship coming up pretty soon. I might just want to take a random fight that we'll probably lose, just for the extra bit of cash that we can, we can generate by promoting the fight itself. We do have a salesman, though. He's offering 40% discount only today on the Ordinary Treadmill. So for 3000 I could get the next level treadmill, huh? Oh, the problem is that if I give you that, I have like $4 left to my name, apparently, or like $40 left to my name. I would love to do that. Especially because it normally costs 5000 But no money is a terrible, terrible thing, I would say. Yeah. I'm sorry to say we have to pass up on it. As good as that sounds, 40% is actually really, really good, but... Can't afford it at the moment. Okay, um, you're fit for a fight, allegedly. At 10, 12, 6, and 2. Is that good? Hmm... I don't know about that. Alright, so check this out. As I was um, doing a little bit of training here, the manager for the current minor champion, Thunderbolt, is calling to ask that Cannonball becomes a sparring partner for the champion for one day. Your boxer will be sent away and you won't be able to train him today, but I get one free skill point. Yes. Off you go, Cannonball. Be a good sparring partner. And now my boy over here, by the way, is coming along. We got the decay down to a zero now. We have a sponsorship deal, which is good, though. Let's see here. Uh, scouting, scouting. So this will be for Cannonball. Apparently nobody wants to sponsor the other guy just yet. Don't worry, Earthquake. We'll turn their heads around eventually. For now, let's give this over to you. No problem. Go to weightlifting for a bit and see how this goes. You, let's get this fight. Okay, look at this guy. He's like a sumo wrestler. Joseph Connor. Oh, this guy's got no chance. He's also a power puncher like we are. You know what then? Let's go in there swinging. More than likely he's going to probably go for the head because he's a power puncher. Let him go. Let him go. We have 100 HP. He's got 10 attack power. I can't knock him out in one hit. But there's always a chance. And by the way, we have that power punch. I wonder how the power punch works. Gaining a full crowd meter will refill 30% of your speed and damage. Hmm. I wonder if he does it just automatically on his own. Or if we see this over here build up or something. Stop taunting the poor guy, Cannonball. Just bring him down. Bring him down, you ding dong. Stop being such a jerk. My god, he went flying. See, Joseph's Connor building up a power thing over here. Not that it matters because he's not getting back up after that one, but still. Alright, got that knockout. A perfect performance. Of course it was. There was no getting up this time around too, huh? There you go. Five and a half. And I got at least a... Oh, you know what? Even if I lose, though, I still get experience as a manager, so that's going to kind of be good. You know what? We should fight more often then. Even if we get losses in the minor circuit, it doesn't really matter. What we're looking for is the, the ranked fights anyway. Hire veteran staff, assign staff to boxers. I imagine this will probably cost some money, though. That's my only concern. And we're not exactly rich right now. There it is. The ad opens up down here. Staff. Hmm. Click to hire. Okay. So, yeah, it costs a ton of money. 2000 a day. It gives you a straight-up increase to a stat. But it costs a lot of money. We're 4 or 5. Yeah, so this one right here would finish up this manager task for us. Maybe that unlocks some good new things for us, too. So you know what? Let's go for it. Let's give it a try. Oh, we have an opportunity with Cannonball, though. I represent the fighter called Afonso Soldier McMahon. I have an offer. Do you want to talk? I think we could win this one, boys. 
13 and 1, level 7, he's the fifth contender on the rankings. Either way, we need money, so I think this is perfectly fine. Okay. Cannonball is in trouble here, going up against Soldier must be a nightmare. He is going to be a brawler, which means he has a ton of HP, but we have a ton of hitting power too. Level 5 to level 7? I don't think that's an impossible fight for us to win, to be honest with you. So, what's going to happen here first is go over to Boxing Manager, let's start promoting this fight. And let's also invite our sponsor, up to a 31. Not as much as a high profile fight as the one with Spider was, but it's fine. Do we want to drop a thousand for a bit more? Not yet, just because we're very low on cash. Alrighty. Um, either way, you're going to go fight today. So, five days for my boy over there to get it prepared. Now, this is going to be intriguing. This guy kind of has his beat. He's a counter puncher too, which could be problematic for a Swarmer. He's got also a lot of damage, so basically three hits and we're down. All right, buddy. You got no defenses either, huh? Oof. Let's just work the body straight up and good luck to you. Even if you lose, get a skill point at least and then we can start leveling you up even better that way. <laughs> that's not, that's not the, I want you to taunt right now. And your attack was blocked. There you go. Body hit. Yeah, the damage is just way too low. That two you saw, like even if we hit him, we drop stamina, which is fine, but it's like not dropping enough stamina. So even if we tire him out, it's gonna take forever. It is gonna just take forever to bring this guy down. Yeah, so I've committed to the loss already. We're still oddly enough winning, but we need attacking power no matter what. Oh, it's the final round. Oh, boys, it's the final round. So it's five rounds. Okay, not three. You know what then? We actually could win this. If we don't get tagged twice, oh, we got tagged once. We still have the judge on our side, even though we were the ones who have been knocked out and he hasn't. We still have the decision on our side. If I could just tire him out one more time. Oh, no. Earthquake, get back up. Oh, Earthquake, we could have won. We could have won, dude. We had the judge on our sides. All right. Look, we went five rounds. Can you give me like a lot of skill points for that, though? No, no, it's just based on the fight. I was hoping that the longer you lasted in there, the more you'd get. That's a shame. That's a freaking shame right there. All right, buddy. Get more of that. Well, I think we learned a valuable lesson, though. What does he need? Power. That tool is just terrible, even for the miners. So, let's start assigning some training over on the heavy bag. And you are getting ready for a fight in five days. Okay, Cannonball wants to talk about the tactics for the upcoming fight versus Soldier. What would be more important, blocking or attacking? He is a brawler, so he's got a ton of HP. Attacking will be the key to victory. Definitely has to be, because he does not, he's not going to have too much power. We also have a lot of HP ourselves. We just have to knock him, hit him in the head over and over and over until he's finally down. So continue working on that. You go to the heavy bag and don't even look back at me. All right, so we're up to 183 tickets sold. I think with the last fight, we were up to like 400 and something, so that's not too bad. Earthquake wants to improve his former skills. He thinks the next step should be to learn defensive ability head block. Sounds good. So you got yourself an extra point for head blocking. Eh, might as well. Flurry. Ooh, that sounds really good. But no, we gotta get you some defenses as well, so that's fine. Again, go back to the heavy bag. And then you are 88. Tomorrow is the fight, right? I'm gonna send you home early, so you're ready for this fight. No training for you today. I think we're ready for... I think we got this win, honestly. I think we got this win. That's one that we should be able to win. Level 3 to 9 was a really big accomplishment to achieve, but 5 to 7 is definitely a lot more manageable. Let's go for it. Oh my god. He's got even less HP than I do, and he's a brawler? Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Attack. Head. And let's go defend everything. Let's go for a little bit more body defense, I would say. He's only got 9 damage, so I'm not really too worried about that. Dude, this is our fight. This is our first victory in the minor circuit. Ooh, got a little bit of a weird sun in there, huh? That's fine. Oh my god! Two hits and he's almost gone? One more, boy! Oh my god, Soldier Alfonso is down! Cannonball took that challenge personally! Yeah! My boy! Incredible victory, our first minor fight! 
Can Soldier Alfonso recover from this heavy defeat? Oh, I'm not sure about that because we whipped this boy pretty good. Get up to level 6? Yeah! And we got a new outfit unlocked for bringing our first one. Awesome! Good job, baby! Um, let's drop that point into... Do you think Power Punch would unlock this down here? Let's do it. Oh, it did! The Ravager. All attacks of the Viper send chance to stun. It's a very low amount, but hey, if we have a stunned opponent, we have a opponent ready for us to just knock out. Alright, so check this out. We got our first sponsor to deal for our boy Earthquake. 17 a day for 27 days. There you go, buddy. Pretty sure that's your first one. You're coming up to the big leagues now. Continue working at HP and we'll be fine. Scouting, go back and start doing a bit more sponsorship deals for sure. And then Cannonball, what do we need to work with you here? What do we need a bit of work for? Let's go back to the heavy bag. I'm waiting now, since we're up to 5,600. I'm waiting now for one of those deals to show up. We could probably buy some good equipment at a really discounted price. Okay, so check this out. You just got a call from a boxing manager. He wants to propose a minor circuit fight for Cannonball. We won our first one, so let's hear this offer. Level 9 character. Who happens to be a swarmer. I mean, we're level 6 at the moment, I think? Level 9. Hmm. This would almost be like the fight with Spider, who was level 9. But, it's a good chance to make some money. Even if we do lose. Plus, if we do lose, we get some more skill points, too. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm not sure how to handle a Swarmer now that I'm a Power Fighter. So we'll have to figure that out. Um, let's do a little bit of... Hype, for a fact. Don't want to drop a thousand for flyers and posters. Not right now. A thousand seems like a lot only for a 36 fight. If we could get that even higher, I'll consider dropping a bit more money. You continue working on that. What do we train for you then? Let's see. Four days. Alrighty, so the fight will be not right now, but the next day. The hype for this fight is very low. I'm not going to put any more money into it. 121 only. Unless something happens now. Great success. A famous pop star and her crew has asked. VIP of ringside tickets for the fight. Well, that's probably something that we needed then. Hold up. 40! Hype! Okay, now I think we could definitely drop a bit of cash in there. I say we go for 100. Hype meter 103. We've wasted a lot of money for that, but the ticket sales now could be good. I'm impressed by Hooked. Hopefully the other guy can put up a fight. Don't doubt the cannonball is all I could say. Alright. So this person has... He's a swarmer. Low damage. Very low damage. You know what then? He's gonna probably go after the stamina, right? Our stamina? He doesn't have a lot of knocking out power, so I don't have to worry too much about a head. But if he wears me out, then we'll be freed up. So I'm thinking, especially as a swarmer, we want to kind of keep a little bit of defense here. Tire him out to some degree. We want to attack the body first, drop his speed and stamina. And then once that's gone, we can start headhunting. And then we want to defend, definitely focus on body defense. Do you think this is good? To me, it makes sense. We could have probably gone a little bit more aggressive with the attack and over defend over there, but we'll see how it goes. He went over the he went after the head first. Surprising. Oh, we took his stamina out! We took his stamina out already! Oh baby! Cannonball, do it! He's gassed out! No, don't block it, ding dong, attack him! His stamina is completely gone, boys. This could be a first hit knock, a first round knockout again. Come on, come on. No. Oh, my stamina is gone too now. Yo, we hurt him though. We hurt this boy quite a bit. We hurt this boy quite a bit. Um, I think we keep everything how it was. Like he did take my stamina out too with his little comeback there. But I still think we go with this. Don't let him recover too much. If we could kind of almost do what we did again, this should be a dog. Okay, let him go for the head. That's fine. No, your stamina's gone. Go. Why, why is it gone? Oh. Don't do it. We had such a good thing going at the start. Okay, there we go. There we go. He's out. He's out. Go for the head. Cannonball, go for the head. You ding dong. He's taunting. No, don't, don't block what he's taunting. He's going to get his power attack and knock us out. Dude, you've had the chance to take this guy out. You haven't gone for a single headshot afterwards. Okay. Look, it was good going for the body. It did during the stamina. But we're not going for the head afterwards. I know it's fairly far out over here. Let's go with that one then. 
I again, I think we continue focusing on the body. His headshots don't really worry me too much right now. And you know what? Let's get a little bit aggressive here. We have the attack power to knock this guy out in like maybe two more hits here. We just gotta get a hit in there though. Okay, it's alright, he's gassed out, we're both gassed out. Come on, come on. Come back at it, Cannonball. Come on, Cannonball. Go for the head, go for the head. Come on, come on. Oh, no, no, he's, oh. No, he's out. Come on, come on. Go for the, fr get your stamina back and go for the head right now. Come on, no block anymore. Don't block anymore. Yes! He's loopy! No! Oh, he's so close to being out. Okay, look. Head attack only. Body defend. I don't care. Knock him out now. Knock him out right now. I've had enough of the defending. We have more stamina than he does. He's gonna wear out eventually. Yes! Yes! Stay down! We did it! Yeah! Cannonball! Two wins in a row! My boy! Average fight. I don't care. That was a little bit tricky right trying to figure this guy out. Oh my god. Give me that skill point. Give me the seven. Give me the seven. No, it gave me the seven. And we got another outfit too. Um, by the way, let's give him this um, new outfit, by the way. Profile. Customize. Let's go with the gold trunks right there. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right, guys. We're going to wrap it up here for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll come back if you want to see a bit more, so let me know in the comments and leave a thumbs up, and we'll continue playing more of this. Right now, we're getting a couple of now wins stacked up on Cannonball, and we have a good Swarmer and Earthquake building us up in the background here to slowly start taking over as well. I will catch you next time.